Are you looking to buy a Marriott Vacation Club week, primarily to trade through Interval International? Well, today we're gonna analyze all the costs and see if it's worth it right after this. Hello and welcome to Destination Times here. I'm Jeremy. Before we jump into this video, talking about whether it makes sense to buy a Marriott Vacation Club week, primarily for trading purposes through Interval International, I wanna let you know, on this channel, I like to provide my knowledge, tips and advice to help you get the most from your time to your ownership. So if that's the kind of stuff you wanna see, be sure to hit subscribe down below and also click on that notification bell, select all, and then you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. I'm gonna take a look at a Marriott Vacation Club week that is primarily used for trading purposes. And if you don't know already, primarily the best timeshares to buy for trading purposes are the ones that lock off. That's how you get the most bang for your buck because you can get two weeks for one, essentially one maintenance fee. So we actually own two of them. We own Marriott's Harbor Lake, Marriott's Grand Vista, both of those in Orlando, both of those lock off, kind of have somewhat reasonable maintenance fees. You also have a number in the Palm Desert, Desert Springs Villas one and two, and you also have what is Grand Chateau in Las Vegas. Those are kind of the major ones that when people think of, hey, I wanna buy a Marriott week, primarily for trading, that's the ones that they're gonna look at. There might be a few others, but those are the big heavy hitters. But we do need to look at the costs here of what these really run into, and we're gonna kind of use some generalizations for maintenance fees, because the maintenance fees on all these are kind of a little bit all over the place, but they kind of tend to be in the $1,500 range that includes maintenance fees and taxes. Seems like an awful lot, doesn't it? But right now, if you lock that off, that works out into $750 for each week that you can go somewhere. But there's a lot more to it than just the maintenance fees when it comes to trading your Marriott Vacation Club week through Interval International. The first fee, like I mentioned, we have $1,500 maintenance fee. The next one, Marriott Vacation Club actually charges a $90 fee to lock off your unit. Now we're talking about if you were to go out and buy a resale week now, post June 2010, so after June 2010, when at that time you were able to enroll in the Marriott Vacation Club Destination Points Program, and a lot of these fees kind of went away, but this is somebody who's buying now. So before somebody jumps in and corrects me and says, hey, 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 I don't pay a lock-off fee, you would be paying a lock-off fee if you were to buy a resale week now in 2000. 21 or beyond. So you have that lock-off fee of $90 and you do have two exchange fees because if you lock it off and deposit both units, you're going to be exchanging two units, two exchange fees, $154 a piece. So there's another $308. Then you have an annual interval fee of $99. You can sign up for multiple years and get some discounts on this, but we're just going to use the one-year membership here. And then you also have an II or Interval International Platinum fee. And there's a reason I'm going to suggest buying the Platinum fee because it will almost pay for itself with the next fee we're gonna talk about here. But the II Platinum fee, Platinum membership in Interval International is right now $139. You might be able to get some bargains on that, some promo codes, two years for the price of one, 50% off one year, that kind of thing. But it is $139 as of right now. Then this is why the next one, if you want to be able to trade into two bedroom units, yes, you can trade the lock off studio or the lock off one bedroom into a two bedroom unit through Interval International. It will cost you though an upgrade fee if you're doing this outside of what they call flex change, which is outside of 59 days from check-in. So if you're wanting to travel somewhere late next year, you're going to have to pay an upgrade fee if you want to go from a studio to a one bedroom or a studio to a two bedroom or a one bedroom to a two bedroom. I'm kind of maximizing here to get the biggest unit that you can using upgrade fees. Each upgrade fee is normally $99, but when you have Interval Platinum, it is only $59. You actually get a $40 discount off of that. You're essentially, if you're going to exchange into two two bedroom units, you're going to have to upgrade from a one bedroom to a two bedroom on one. So there's one upgrade fee. And then on the other side, you're gonna be trading out from a studio to a two bedroom. So there's two steps up to a two bedroom. So now you have three upgrade fees there. So 
$59 each, that comes out to $177 in upgrade fees. But you are saving $40 there per upgrade fee, which you're actually saving $120, which is really close to that II Platinum fee that you paid. You only paid $19 more to get that II Platinum. You can use that for up to free five guest certificates, that kind of thing. I actually did a video about Interval Platinum membership. Check that out up there. Kind of tells you a little bit about some of what you can get with Interval Platinum membership. But yeah, so all of that all added together, we're talking the maintenance fee, the lock-off fee, the exchange fee, annual fee, the platinum fee, those upgrade fees, it does add up. Your $1,500 now comes out to $2,313. It's an extra $813 just in fees to Marriott and Interval International. But when you think about that, you're getting two weeks in two two-bedroom units potentially for what is only about $1,150 a piece. Can you do better than that by going other routes, maybe through Airbnb, Verbo? I know most likely if you're gonna look at renting a hotel room, you might be paying close to that just for seven nights in a standard hotel room versus seven nights in a two bedroom timeshare villa where everybody can spread out, lots of room, kitchen, two bathrooms, separate living area. It's just great, separate bedrooms, all of that. But that's just kind of a cost breakdown on what it really costs to own a Marriott week, primarily for trading purposes when it's a lock-off. Usually, like I said, when people are wanting to buy a Marriott trader, they're looking for lock-offs. So what do you think? Is this worth it? About $1,150 a week for travel via timeshare? Let me know all about it down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help out these videos. Also helps tell YouTube that you like these videos too and to send you more just like it. And if you want to see more videos all about timeshare, check out the description box below. And for another timeshare tip, check out this one right up here and YouTube. They think you'll like that one down there. Be sure to subscribe. You can do so by clicking on my picture right here. Hit that notification bell. And until next time, remember, the best destination is always a timeshare.